Hi there, we're going to be having communion and I've asked Denise to sit with me and let's have a, a family communion as Crossroads and I've got uh, Stephen and Sarah helping me. They're filming us, so we're doing this together and we're enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having and um, as you sit around your table, we trust that the Lord's table will be something very precious to you and if you have some bread and some grape juice if you don't have grape juice use what you have but uh, let's all partake together in the Lord's table and I'm going to read to you from Matthew chapter 26 where I've been reading in the message and I'm reading from our family Bible these big old ones that we we use and uh, there it, Jesus is sitting at the Passover table. And in verse 23, Jesus is speaking. And he, uh, he said, He that dips his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goes as it was written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. That was challenging uh, Judas. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, answered and said, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? And he said to him, You have said it. As they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And these were the words of the Master. And if you know the Passover liturgy, this blends into the Passover liturgy. It's in the same format that the statements were made. If you're reading it from Matthew, you can see how it would have been originally, most probably in Hebrew. It was then translated into Greek and just from the sentence structure. But you can see that this Jesus was doing a Passover meal. And he was kind of putting it together and saying, when, you, when I'm not here, I want you to have this meal. I want you to remember how we did this meal. Because when it gets tough and you remember this, you're going to know that we did this together. That this meal will always remind you that my body was shed for you, that my blood was shed for you, and that there is a future. And he said, when I drink it till that day, when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. This is not just a meal that we do to remember. It's to remind us that in the Father's kingdom, we're going to do this there. There's going to be a huge party, a celebration. And we will look at the, at the finished work of Jesus as a completed thing. Everything, everybody will be home. And when we see it in the Father's kingdom, then it will be sitting there with Jesus. But as we do this together, we aren't there yet. But we are, some of us, we're not able to have this meal as we normally do. Uh, in the church with lots of us around. We're doing this in a scattered way, but we're still connecting together because we're remembering what Jesus did for us. So I want to encourage each of you to, if you will, take a piece of bread and let's remember what Jesus did. Father, I thank you that as we look at this bread, we remember what Jesus did on the cross for us. We thank you that this bread was broken and that you said that we must remember your body broken for us. And when we remember that, we remember that that brought us healing. That brought us wholeness. That brought us salvation. That brought us into a new covenant relationship. That everything that we need, you have already provided. Father, I thank you for each and every one of our family that's partaking here. Thank you, Lord, that you're providing for them. That you're putting bread on their table, that you're putting petrol in their tanks, that you're putting everything that they need in their lives because you're in, in a covenant with them. 
And Father, we thank you that you're the provider and we just honor you. But Father, we also remember how holy and how amazing our Jesus was. And we don't want to take this incredible sacrifice lightly. Lord, we also remember that as this bread, we break this bread. That as you were broken, we are made whole. And Father, we think of anyone that we know who's been impacted by the coronavirus. And we just say thank you, Father, that we can trust you, that your healing power is still at work in their bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's eat together. Father, we thank you also that on the night that you were betrayed, that you, after supper, took the cup and you gave it to your disciples and you gave thanks, saying, drink all of it. Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Father, we thank you that no matter how wrong we are, no matter how lost we are, that you came and found us and that your blood was shed to wash away our sin. Every single sin that we can be completely washed, that our sins are removed as far as the east is from the west. We thank you for the new life that we have in Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we just honor you and bless you. And thank you, there's a family we could sit around this table. Remember what you've done for us and your amazing kindness and love. We bless you for that. In Jesus' amazing name. Amen.